Uh, I'm going to go over number 9 and 10 on the unit quiz. I appreciate you guys all working so hard. It's pretty awesome to see how many of you have already finished this quiz. Very impressive, but I do want to help you. All right, so this one, um, the formula there is a ball is kicked at four feet above the ground, and I see you see the answers there, so just hold on a second because I want you to know how to do this, okay? Um, it's kicked four feet above the ground with a vertical, initial vertical, vertical velocity of 55 feet per second. The function is right here, and this represents height h in feet after t seconds using the graph. How many seconds is the ball above, um, 30 seconds above the ground? Around your answer to the nearest tenth. So I'd like you to show the easiest way. After this unit's over, you'll realize the quadratic formula is the best way. However, you haven't learned that yet, and they're asking you to graph. So luckily, you'll have access to decimals next year. Okay, I'm gonna zoom on out. Okay, and you're going to put here the formula. So you can put h of t equals, I just put y equals negative 16 t squared, and you can enter it down here. So go ahead and practice doing that. You need to press pause and enter that. Okay, so it's that formula. And here is the graph of that. And if you zoom in a little, you'll see that the initial height of the ball, oh, well, it was marked with the dot before. Why isn't it marked with the dot? Okay, it was, I swear. Hmm. I don't know why. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to after how many seconds? 30 seconds. So after 30 seconds, sorry, at 30 feet, the ball is 0 0.567. And so we're gonna round up to 0 0.6. And then over here, it was also at 30 feet. And that is 2.87. So we'll round that to 2.9. And so that's actually the best and easiest way to get your answer for something like that. Um, yes, quadratic formula you guys are gonna love. I'm sure you'll use that like crazy too. All right, number 10. Um, they give you, it says, let me get to number 10 here. Um, the volume in cubic feet of a right cylinder with a height of three feet and a radius r in feet is given by this formula. Use the formula r, then find the radius of the cylinder when the volume is 236 cubic feet. Round your answer to the nearest whole number. All right, so let's start. Um, uh, let's start by solving. So let's solve for r. Um, and this is something we kind of all struggle with, but if we want to solve for r, think about pi. Pi is just a number. It's 3.14, right? So if I multiply those, we get 9.42. Okay, but that's, that's irrelevant. But this is a number in itself. We just, pi is the best way to write it because it's, it's um, irrational. It goes on forever. So I can treat this as a whole, and right now since those are multiplying r squared, I want to divide. And if I divide this side, I have to divide the other side, so that cancels. So now I have volume divided by 3 pi equals r squared. Well, my r still isn't alone because it's squared, and we've got to think the opposite of squaring a number is taking the square root, which cancels, and if I square root one side, then I have to square root the other. So my r, everything canceled around my r, and this equals volume, sorry, r equals square root of v divided by 3 pi. So that's solving for r. And over here, um, it says if your volume is 236. So instead of writing v, we're going to use 236. 236 equals 3 pi r squared. Um, again, this is a number, and you can just enter that directly into your calculator. Um, I left my calculator at school, and I had to borrow my husband's old school one. So I multiplied those and used 9.42. It doesn't really matter what you do. Um, but again, I want to solve for r. So I divide by 3 pi. I'm dividing by 3 pi. So you can enter 236 divided by 3 pi, and you'll get... Um, 25 point something, well, my answer is gone, so 236 divided by 9 point, 25.05, something like that. You're probably going to be a little different if you're using pi. Um, you'll definitely get a different, different decimal, and that's okay, because we're rounding to the nearest whole number. Okay, so I'm actually going to take that off, because it doesn't even matter. And again, solving for r, we're going to square root, we're going to square root. 
and our radius would be five then. So there are our two answers for number 10.